and welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be the beginning of a really fun series here on my channel. Right now, um, as you were watching this, I am in Japan. So I thought it would be awesome to do some really fun Japanese fashion inspired looks. Um, I wanted to start off with my personal favorite, which is Visual K. Um, I love, you know, Visual K music, but I wanted to create a look inspired by Visual K artists and create a really fun, intricate punk look. So this is what I created for you guys today. It's heavily inspired from the bassist uh, shoe from called plan who is now in leave link so um I fell in love with called plan a while ago and I really love shoes makeup so I wanted to create something like his but a little bit different just because I didn't have like everything that he had on so and I really i'm really happy with the way that this turned out i really hope that you guys will enjoy this series and the tutorial and i am excited for you guys to see the rest of the these series and these videos will be here on my channel while i'm in japan and it'll get you guys hyped for japan vlogs and all that good stuff so without further ado let's begin the tutorial so I just started off with my eyebrows done and I primed my lids with the AOA Wonder Cover Concealer and Highlighter. Then taking the Kat Von D Star Studded Eyeshadow Book, I'm using the Black Star Eyeshadow and I'm going to apply that all over my lid. It is a very shimmery, sparkly black and I'm just going to put that all over my mobile lid leaving a little bit of space on the inner corner. Now I'm gonna go in with these three colors to kind of smoke out that black. And the first color I'm going to be using is a mixture of Fascination Street and Gothica. Fascination Street was a little bit too light and Gothica was a little bit too dark, so I just kind of mixed those two together. Then taking Starflyer, I just put that on the outer portion of my crease and just blended it in with those two purples. Then I took a Corpse Cosmetic Sirens Glow in Victorian and added that on the inner portion of my lid. Now I'm going to go back to my old scene days and apply a mass amount of eyeliner on the lower lash line and waterline. And I'm going to extend it just a little bit on the very outer portion and then go back in and kind of smoke it out. Now I'm going in with my bronzer and I'm just going to kind of sketch out the shape that I want for that um, weird eyeliner. And then going in with a dark blue, the same one I use for my eyebrows, to kind of amplify it so that I can see it a little bit better. Then I went over it with the J-Cat Holographic 3D Eye Topper in Unicorn Hype just for a really pretty purpley silvery gold pink base um, I did have to do a few layers um, for this to be really opaque but it is so pretty and obviously you don't have to do this for this look you can just keep the eyes um, both with the black um, but I really was inspired by this particular look um, now I'm using both glitters from Corpse Cosmetics, 
The purple is BBC and the silver is Immortal. And I'm going to be taking a mixture of those two glitters and applying it over the shape that we had created. Um, I did use a sticky base just so that the glitter will adhere really well. Um, I obviously recommend some sort of sticky base for any sort of glitter. Glittery! Oh, I love glitter so much. I just love it. <laughs> now, I'm going to take a dark blue uh, water activated paint from my wolf essentials kit and I'm going to be lining the very far outer points of that shape um, with that blue that dark blue um, just to give it a little bit more punch and pizzazz And I went ahead and erased the rest of my brow extending from that top point. Um, his eyebrow was pretty short, so I just erased the rest of my eyebrow. Now I'm going to go in with a really pretty teal and connect the rest of the lines together just so it's one seamless um, shape. Now taking that black liner again and going back to my old scene days and just packing on the liner. He had a ton of liner on so just channeling my old scene days and bringing it back. So top lash line, bottom water line, bottom lash line and then smoking it out with that black as well. And then, of course, mascara. Um, you can add false lashes. I just didn't add any because it was a male-inspired look, so I just didn't add any. Then I popped on my wig, and now I'm going to be contouring. Now, for this, I am going to use my regular contour, um, which is a City Colors blush in Toasted. But I'm going to go back over everything with a dark gray just to give it that VK inspired look um, and also for my contour instead of just coming straight out I'm gonna go out and down to give my face a more masculine appearance And I'm going into that BH Cosmetics Smoky palette and using that dark gray and just very lightly using that over the contour that I just created. I'm going over every single bit of it but just mainly focusing it on the very inner part of that contour. And I'm not going to add any blush or highlight or anything like that. But I am going to be contouring my nose a bit with the same two colors, the brown and the gray. Now going over my lips with concealer, I'm just going to kind of blur them out completely. Mm -hmm. 
And then taking the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Madrid, I'm going to be putting that on the inner portion of my lips and blending that out for that kind of blood soaked kind of look. I don't really know how to describe it. It reminds me of a vampire and I really like that look. So that's what we're going to go with the vampire look. <laughs> And that is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this look. And if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Also, click the little notification bell to be notified of every video that I upload for this series. And for Japan vlogs, get ready because they're coming soon. I am super hyped and super excited um, for that. And for you guys to see more fun looks. I will be doing different genres of fashion and style and stuff like that for the series. So I hope you enjoy. I love you guys so, so much. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. What? What? Get off me.